Hello. My name is Pat, and I am here to tell you about Thrinaxodon. Thrinaxodon was a genus of cynodont that lived during the Triassic period, 248-245 million years ago, notable for being a transitional fossil. The two known species ranged in size from that of a small badger, 50 centimeters, to an incised, 30 centimeters long thrapsid. Pits on the skull suggest that Thrinaxodon may have had whiskers, but whether it also had fur is debated. In response to the wide daily temperature swings of the early Triassic, it may have been neurithermic, able to function at a broad range of temperatures. Like its predecessors, Thrinaxodon laid eggs, and there were many reptilian features in its skeleton. Its remains were found on South Africa and Antarctica, supporting the notion that the two continents were once joined together. Thrinaxodon probably lived in shallow burrows dug into hillsides or river banks. A low slung, sharp toothed carnivore, Thrinaxodon lived in burrows, and its well differentiated teeth suggest it ate small creatures like insects, reptiles, and other small animals. Clues to its remains show that this creature was more mammal like than its synapsid ancestors. It had a fairly large head skull with pits in the snout area which have suggested to some that it had whiskers. An enlarged dentary bone strengthened either side of the lower jaw and contained sockets for its teeth. Its chest and lower back regions were probably separated by a diaphragm, a muscular sheet that contracted to fill lungs, and would have enabled Thrinaxodon to breathe more efficiently than its ancestors. There were many larger predators during the late Triassic, including some of the earliest carnivorous dinosaurs, such as Chelophysis. Thrinaxodon had few defenses against these, 